let's face it, not many would admit they love working, especially if they're putting in 14-hour days. Anderson Cooper is an exception. He's juggling several high-profile jobs and says he wouldn't have it any other way. David Culver went to New York City to sit down one-on-one -on -one with the newsman and to give us a rare behind-the-scenes look at his new daytime talk show. Anderson opened up about the stresses of his busy schedule, his mom, and even the U.S. military. As part of his new talk show's launch, Anderson Cooper made it clear he likes to keep moving. Every day in New York is different. You never know who you're going to meet. How you doing? What you're going to learn? What you're going to step in? The newsman thrives on a busy schedule. You know, I like doing a lot of different jobs. I mean, for years I've had several, you know, I've been working for, for 60 Minutes in addition to CNN, and now I have this daytime show. Um, I wrote a book a couple of years ago, so I like, I find I'm happiest when I have a lot of stuff going on and I'm busy. We sat down with him in his New York City studio. Mind you, it was 4 o'clock. He'd started at 8 in the morning and was only halfway through the day. I almost feel bad doing this interview. Why? Because uh, you've been through two shows. Uh -huh. And your workday is not over yet. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's fun though, it's nice. I mean, it's, it's not, it beats a real job. But pulling off a daily show seen across the country is work. You realize that sitting through two tapings in one day. The Halloween show was up first. The audience decked out in their costumes. Anderson dressed up to honor the pioneer of daytime talk. Today is our big Halloween special. I'm Phil Donahue. The shows are non-stop, and so is Anderson. Running all over the studio with a microphone in hand, studio cameramen can barely keep up. Even commercial breaks are not really breaks. He's talking with producers. They're making last-minute changes. This is awesome. Young guests even appreciate the controlled chaos. So as you can imagine, at a show like Anderson, a lot of action going on behind the scenes. There you have the makeup room, of course, where guests are getting all done up. Behind here, some of the crew you'll see walking around grabbing something to eat in between the two shows. Once the Halloween taping wrapped, production crews were on it. The cobwebs pulled down, the furniture switched out, a new audience piled in, and Anderson was back as himself. Anderson stepped into the kingdom of daytime talk as the reigning queen stepped down. I'm not trying to follow in any one person's footsteps. You know, I'm just trying to be myself and, and do the best show I can. In order for Anderson to be himself, he's had to open up. Interviewing his mom, Gloria Vanderbilt, he talked publicly about his family's past. And it was a show about my brother who committed suicide, and, and so that was actually incredibly, for me, very emotional. My mother was there, trying to talk him off the ledge. She was helpless to save him. You almost choked up at one point and kind of just stopped. Mm -hmm. And your mom picked right yeah, up. Yeah, I, I noticed that too. Dan, there is never a closure on something that happens like I know like I hear that, when I hear um, people on <clears throat> yeah you know and um, so that was interesting that you caught that because I, I didn't know if other people noticed that but um, but yeah I thought I found that really surprising too uh, my mom's really cool I mean she's 87 she's in great health and she's lived this extraordinary lives kind of multiple lives early on in my career I never wanted people to know who my mom was because I never wanted people to think that I'd somehow gotten the job or you know created a career based on on who she was they can either be buried in the road or detonated by a member of the Taliban Anderson seems to have escaped much of that criticism in part because he started his career reporting from war zones covering conflict he says gave him an appreciation for our men and women serving us abroad I don't think a lot of people understand the level of sacrifice that military families make. Not just the member who's, who's serving overseas, but the family members back home. In the 20 years he's reported, Anderson's worked just about every shift in television, starting with the overnights at ABC News. Daytime now, yep. prime time, uh -huh. late night next? <laughs> late night next, I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, I think I, I think I got enough jobs as it is. Not that he's complaining. I feel very blessed if, uh, if this will be able to continue. I'm able to continue doing all these different things. In New York City, I'm David Culver. Tim on your side. Well, you can find much more of David's visit to Anderson's show on wavy.com, including the full unedited version of his sit-down interview. You'll also find a slideshow with behind-the-scenes photos and much more. Just go to wavy.com and click on this story.